Jeez, you're getting shocked with this camera. Okay, hello. Happy Wednesday for those watching live. And happy whatever day it is if you're watching it recorded. This is our gentle exercise class for Parkinson's. All right, here we go. Spotlight. All right, there we go. Hello, Winston. Hello. <laughs> adjustments to be made. You just what? The adjustments to be made. Oh, gotcha. You're the I, IV guy. What, what, I'm not IV, I, IT guy or the. What do they call yeah, that guy yeah. in school that would roll out all the projectors yeah. and stuff? Uh, yeah. not, not really. My son actually is an audiovisual AV. Yeah, audiovisual or, AV guy. The AV, AV. guy. Yes, yeah, so was I. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. We have got a bunch of people still connecting with audio. A uh, couple quick announcements here. We'll grab our water bottle. It is Wednesday. That's not really an announcement. It's just a fact. Um, so um, we've got a couple of, hi, Ann. We've got a couple of uh, speakers in the queue, which is exciting. Um, we've got um, Esther Grote, who is a speech therapist from Germany that we kind of lost contact with, but she got back to me and she's going to be speaking April 10th. And then June 19th, we have um, um, Megan Gomez, the uh, psychologist who did, a, did our last um, Parkinson's Life discussion group. And she was great. I mean, and we got so many great comments uh, on her presentation. And um, I've edited it, and it's in your emails um, at the bottom there. Um, and I'll, I'm going to run it as the weekly video for this week and next, because it took me a couple of days to get it ready. Uh, but that's up on, you can just click that at the bottom of your email. I'll take you out to the YouTube channel and you can watch it and share it with your friends if you like. Um, but in any event, I don't know, Bill's having trouble. Are you in there, Bill? Can you hear us? It says Taylor, Bill Taylor is connecting to audio and it's taking a bit of time. I don't know what's going on with him. Ah, he's going to miss the joke. That's what he comes here for. Poor guy. All right. We'll reread it to him. You all get a, a shot at it. All right. Let's put our heads together because we made it for exercise. All right. All right. All right. And here we go. There is Harvey connecting. All right. All right. Bill is counting down. Bill's going to miss the joke. All right. Here we go. I'll read it to him again. He won't let me get away with not reading. Okay. All right. I always take my problems to Tommy. He'll figure something out. <laughs> Tommy, he'll figure. I always take my problems to Tommy. He'll figure something out. <laughs> Very good. I uh, didn't get it. I know. I, it was probably the delivery. My delivery wasn't the best. I think I was a little bit better on the second round. You know, it's funny because what I do um, when I'm trying to direct somebody and I tell them to use their right hand or their left hand, I think Ralph Lauren, RL. So oh. I, it simplifies. So I don't have to go, this is my right hand, which is, I call my left hand in this class. But, you know, so I think big RL. Ralph Lauren, they make good quality stuff. All right. Let me close this down. Let's push on back. I'm going to mute everybody. I wonder if I mute everybody like that, if it actually cures Bill's problem on the other end. I don't know. Now he's still connecting to audio. All right. All right, everybody. Let's get it going here. Enough. Yeah, jabber, jabber. Yeah. All right. So thank you, everyone, for your participation and your questions and your hard work and of course your support let's go ahead and get ourselves to the front of the chair and let's just take a couple of deep breaths in and let's notice any tension 
that we might have. You can sit still or you can move yourself around a little bit. Actually, fidget with yourself a little bit here. Let's take a big breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can release some of any tension that you perceive. Let's go into a gentle stir around from one side to the other in a circular motion. And come up to center again and take another deep breath in and relax any tension. And we'll take our right hand, we'll put it on the outside of this knee, and we'll give ourselves a little bit of a twist here, a little rotation. Bring your left hand out and open it up behind you, reaching behind you, turning your palm up towards the sky. And release that and bring it back, return to a tall seated position. Take your left hand, bring it across and reach back with your right hand as you turn your head to look towards the hand. And back to center. Tall in the chair once again, take that right hand, bring it across and reach and turn. You'll feel the body open up a little bit on each progressively more open movement. And back to center and reach and turn. I'm busy. There he is. What happened, Bill? I was on another call. Okay, got it. And back to center. And let's bring... Did you hear the joke? No. I'll see if I remember it. I bring my Tom I, I bring my problems to Tommy. He'll figure something out. Tommy Hillfinger. Tommy Hillfinger. <laughs> Tommy Hillfinger. I don't think there's in there. Tom, I bring my problems to Tommy. He'll figure something out. <laughs> and bring it back up and switch. You know. Sometimes the funniest part of a joke is how bad it is. Isn't that right? Stretch out the hamstring. And come on up to center. And let's go ahead and take that arm and stretch out and diagonally back across to the side. Kind of similar to the other stretch we just did, but maintaining your forward reference so that you feel that stretch on the chest and the upper arm. And let's go ahead and add that foot sweep out as well. So we're going to sweep that leg out to the side and land the edge of the heel on the foot. So as I said, we have a couple speakers lined up in the queue. And uh, the edited video of our last week's presentation is available for viewing, and that's at the bottom of your, your videos. And when you're watching those types of presentations, let's do one more here, and then we'll go to the left arm to start. So left arm, sweep it up. Take advantage of the option of viewing it in faster speed. I like to watch all the YouTube educational programs that are pre-recorded in about 1.25, depending on the speaker, so I can get through an hour's content in 45 or 50 minutes. And you do that by clicking the little gear icon that you'll see at the, the base of the uh, screen there. It took me a long time to remember to start doing that. So I keep encouraging everybody to take advantage of that feature. Two more. One and two, and now let's alternate out here and then out here. Presentation up and back and up. Tall in the chair and a couple more and then we'll do both at the same time. One, 
two, and now the hooray move. So both of them, hooray, and let's do eight of these. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one, and back down. Bring that right leg straight out. I want to do some strengthening for the quads and the hip flexor. So you're going to flex that ankle, keep that knee straight, brace on the other side, and lift that leg up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And circles, eight, big circles, seven, six, lock that ankle up, five, four, Three, two, whoo, one, and reverse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and down, and pull it on back. And instead of going directly to the other side, we're going to go back to our movement drill for a couple of reps, and then we'll hit the other side. And together. So it's right arm, left arm, and leg together. Right side, left side, together, keeping the heart rate up again. Left, one more together. And now we'll hit the left side. Left leg is straight out. Flex that ankle, straighten that knee, brace the other side, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Big circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse them. There's the crazy eights. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Pull it on back, reset, and last round. Right side, left side, together. Right, left, together, up, up. Together, one more, right side, left side, and then together and down. All right, spread the base out. We're gonna do a little stretch. stretch. Before we do, let's get a quick sip of water. Oh, forward to the edge of the chair. Hands together, forearms together. Lower it down, separate, come forward from the hip, find those ankles and grab them. Let your stomach fall between your legs. The common mistake with this is you don't get yourself set up right. Your feet are too close together. Get them out so you have room to move into this. And now we're going to notice before we press the knees into the arms, we'll just notice this, call your attention to the low back and hip. Notice any te tension, and now squeeze your knees into the arms, and you'll watch a little bit of that tension just vanish. Away it goes. And keep that left hand gripping that left ankle. Keep that left knee squeezing that left arm, but release the right hand and bring it up. Turn your head to follow the hand. And release that. Come forward. Tap the other wrist and bring it across. And squeeze both sides. And then release the left hand and bring it up. If you're doing this properly, you don't really need to hold these stretches for a full 20 seconds. This kind of active stretch here, you could do it for about seven. And you get most of the work done in that short time. Bring it back down. Tap that other wrist and bring it across. Set both sides again. 
draw that, retract that chin there, and now release the right hand and sweep. And you'll probably notice that you come up a little bit further without any extra effort. And lower it back down, tapping that wrist, bring it across. Squeeze both sides just to get that set for a moment, then release the left side and bring it up. And bring it back down, tap and back across. Just for a moment, set both sides and then press the knees, keep that pressure of the knees into the arms on and meet that pressure with resistance as you release those hands turn them out sit up into a tall position as your hands go above your knees relax them the arms and unfold into the no money ah. got mosquitoes out here he's gonna get me ah. 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 it's like playing ping pong ah Dang it, he's a big one too. All right, uh, what did I say we were going to use? We're going to we're going to um, let's go to the exercise tubing. Uh, we have our discussion group today at one. Uh, what I'm going to do is at the end of this class, I'll shut everything down and then relaunch it at one. Give you all a chance to sneak away if you want, and then come back if you want to join the discussion. Uh, I was kind of a little nervous when if we close the room down, people won't come back, but I'm going to try it and see what happens. So you're going to loop the arch, loop the tubing around the arch of your right foot. A couple common mistakes with this one is to, well, first of all, grip the tubing too hard, which then engages the forearms and you get something that looks kind of like that. We want it smooth, soft grip. In control that'll defer the resistance in them to the area behind the shoulder blades is what we want and stay tall in the chair don't slump and it's a smooth move smooth slow and control feel the muscles behind the shoulder contracting and then decontracting Three, two, and one, and down. And now we're going to put both ends in just the left hand, and we're going to turn our chest so we're pulling back and across. So I'm facing forward with my chest and just keeping it on this side. You'll feel it back here is where we want to feel it. The row is one of my favorite exercises, actually. Very low wear on the joint, involves posture, muscles involved with respiration. Three more, one, a two, and three, and down. Okay, let's move across to the other side. So I've got it looped under the arch of the left leg, and I'm going to make sure that even tension between each side by giving it slack and then easing back up, sitting tall, soft hand grip again, smooth, slow, and controlled. Let's exhale as we pull, Shh. inhale as we lower. It's actually not critical. You can do it either way. But just pick away and try to be consistent with it. Three, two, and one, and down. Put the length of both ends into your right hand. Turn that chest forward and pull back and across. Boy, that Baltimore uh, cargo ship. What a horrible thing, huh? Three. 
Saturday. We actually, I took my girls to the Queen Mary on Sunday for the ghost tour. Two more, one and two. And the Queen Mary is located in the Long Beach area. And there's that harbor down there. Uh, it's a major harbor, major point of entry. Lots of container ships. All right, we're going to open those hands up, palms up, and you're going to do what's called external rotation of that upper arm. You slowly contract it out and back. And we're moving slow for this, so I want you to really feel the tension and then the detensioning of that through the muscles. And like I said, we're going to do some sit to stand. So as soon as we do, this is a little maintenance for the shoulder. And I was discussing this in the other class. And this is actually, you know, I encourage you to find that minute, that spare moment throughout the day where you can bring the workout into the day. This wouldn't be a bad choice. Three more, one, and two, and three. The spontaneous workout spontaneous where you know i got an extra minute i think i'm gonna do something let's grab a sip we're gonna do our sit to stand sit to stand would be another great choice too just do eight sit you got a minute do eight sit, sit to stands sit to stands are great for the muscles but it's also great to practice the technique the and up we want to move with understanding specificity and intention so we're going to cross our hands to our shoulders. We're going to lean forward, align neutral, pitch back and up and bring ourselves up and then back down. And we're going to move slow. Way to go. I think we got 100% on that one. And up. So flow into the next and up as you come back down to the chair. As soon as your butt hits that chair and up, it's a good way to kind of drive home that cadence or that rhythm using the gravity and momentum. Really here and up. I think that's four. Back down. And up. The whole, there's so many elements to that. Disaster, the Baltimore, the ship, and up, crashing into that bridge and looking for the poor six that aren't found yet, that whole thing, and up, and back down, last one, and up, and bring it down to the chair. Breathe and rest. Hands back down. Tops of the knees. Let's do a little stir. What are you doing here, Steve? Sneaking into say hello. And reverse. So I want to do our and up in that movement routine. I talked about Grab a sip. The technique, being able to execute it on cue. Being able to perform it after you've had a meal with the family and you need to get up and get out of the restaurant and you want to get up out of the chair. Any type of getting out of the chair, getting into the chair, that's considered a transfer. And we want to be good at transferring. We want to be successful and we want to be safe most importantly so getting this on the first try so you're not bouncing back onto the chair and coming back up i think is, is important so we're going to put it in the movement here so we're going to go out here to the side back out here to the side and then we'll go together and then we'll do our and up so we're kind of distracting the body and the brain with a routine and then we're gonna execute an and up out together and up 
And I don't have my hands on the shoulders. You can if you want. Out. Out. Together. And up. Down and out. Out. Together. And up. I kind of screwed mine up on that. Right side, left side, together, and up. Come on, Bob, let's see it. Okay, let's start. Let's mix it up a little bit. We'll start the other way this time. So we'll go left side, right side, together, and up. Hey, 100%. Good job, Bob. Again, left side, right side, together, and up. Yeah, that's it. One more time. Left side, right side, together, and up. And bring it back down. Nice. I got to say, I'm seeing more successful attempts at this. I don't think I saw anybody come halfway up and go back down that time. I'm sure somebody did, but I didn't notice it. And that's what counts. Just kidding. Water. And let's do some hand weights. Yeah, so I'm excited. Um about both presentations coming up. Um, tall in the chair. Let's cover some bicep curls up and down, then we'll get to a chair marked. But let's do this so we all get together and we're all moving with weights, and then I'll bump into a sequence. But I'm really looking forward to seeing Megan again and hearing her take on sleep. You know, I, I, I discussed. The five categories that I've noticed are the ones that we really need to manage and maintain and think about to optimize our quality of life. Let's go into alternating with a leg lift. And they are your medical team, making sure you've got everything from, you. of course, your neurologist, your MDS, your movement disorder specialist, neurologist down to your podiatrist and everything in between, your dentist, your physical therapist if necessary, your optometrist, making sure you've got your medical team staffed with good quality people. One more on each side, one here, one there. And then of course, category two would be your nutrition making sure you're eating well, right? But making sure that every so once in a while you treat yourself to a moment of joy and indulge in five scoops of ice cream or whatever that might be. Let's do an alternating with a leg sweep. Doctors, medical team, nutrition, exercise, making sure you're getting your workout. Exercise is medicine. In fact, I'm driving out to Granada Hills to meet with probably just a singular visit with the father of a physical therapist that contacted me, who's her father has Parkinson's and he's she wants me to come just for one visit to kind of give an assessment and try to convince him to get moving. One more on each side, here, there. And let's alternate. So we're up and down here, up and down there, and then side sweep and side sweep. So we've got our medical team. We've got our nutrition. We've got our exercise. So category four, what I refer to as four, is what Megan is going to be speaking to, and that is sleep. And over the years... I've noticed intimately and often how a bad night of sleep can cause chaos with Parkinson's. 
can cause symptoms that are maybe small to become big. Sometimes symptoms show up that weren't there because of lack of sleep. So sleep hygiene, important. like somebody might notice themselves freezing in strange ways when they don't freeze normally because they haven't had enough sleep. So of the five categories, I've felt that sleep is enough to merit its own category. And that's what Megan's going to be discussing with us. So that's going to be a great buildup. Great to hawk. I'm really looking forward to that. And then the fifth is mental health. And within mental health, I don't just mean like talking to a psychologist or a therapist, which is important too. But I also talk about, I also would include with that, so we don't have a whole bunch of unwieldy categories, but I would include in that socialization, happiness, right? Mood, depression, apathy, non-motor stuff. That merits, all of that gets its own category. All right, one more. Blah, 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 Patrick. Up and down here, up and down, side, side. And it is time for our victory pose. Bicep curl, hooray, and up. Ten of them, that's ten. Nine. And as we move through these, eight, spine. Refer the root, the anchor of the movement. I forgot what number that is. We'll call that seven. Six. Everything follows the spine. The spine is the root. Five. Four. In other words, your hierarchy of focus. Get that posture tall and strong. Three. Maintain it. Did I hit four? Two? I don't know. It's hard to talk and count, especially down from 10. One. And down. Tall in the chair. Let's just go back to our little floor movement routine. And now side. Side, just for a moment. Up and down. Up and down. Side. Side. The other good thing about closing the class down and reopening it for the discussion group is then I remember to close down the feed to YouTube. We've got some friends that follow on YouTube. I felt bad because our last class, I forgot to turn the mic on and they were had no sound. And I can't figure out how the Zoom class had sound, but they did. I don't know. Up and side and down side and down lower put the hand weights down there you go bill your four favorite words put the hand weights down let's grab a sip of water and let's go to the towel we are on track to use everything today after the towel only thing left that we haven't used is the ball Okay. All right, let's go ahead and so we're going to do our new move that I came up with when I was trying to figure out an approximate, a move that would kind of approximate a uh, jumping rope. And it doesn't really, it has some, some of it, but enough. And what it is, is we're going to keep the towel. Hold the towel at the end, and we're going to flip it up overhead to the back of the shoulders, and then we're going to switch, and we're going to alternate reaching one foot forward and tapping it. Probably the worst, the biggest problem with this would be the ducking of the head forward to get the towel up and over. So... If you can't do that, you can just flip it into your chest, maybe. Or you could actually probably add a snap. Right? But we don't want to repeatedly and rhythmically be 
leaning that head forward. One more on each side. Back, and now we're going to do the X. Turn the body. Down, around, and up, and across. So I took the girls, like I said, to the Queen Mary for the ghost tour. And the ghost tour guide was this woman that had been working there about a year, I guess, she said. She was a little bit odd. But I suppose if you believe in ghosts and you, you do a ghost tour on a ship, that maybe that kind of goes with the territory, right? Down, around, and up. And back to our jump rope. But she seemed like the type of a person that would, when she was, she wasn't a natural talker to the crowd. She wasn't a natural tour, tour guide. And she was also the type of person that could address you and seem curiously insulting as she talked to you. Like it didn't appear like she was intentionally being rude but she was kind of rude. It was, and that's a that's an odd talent and a rare talent. One more on each side. And back. I'll give you an example. One of the first time I noticed it, this guy had a question. And we were in the first part of the first tour. The this um it was like a very small ballroom where there was there had been a ghost and appeared. And she's addressing us, and one of this, one of these guys, one of the guys there, young kid, had a question. He said, "You know, I heard this story about someone who had fell through a hatch and died." And she kind of laughed. She said, "Well, there is a story that we'll be discussing in a little bit that has something to do with this, but you're confused." She told him he was confused. And I thought, she better never tell me I'm confused because we'll, we will then have words. Down, around, and around, and around. We go, we go, we go. Last time, bring it in front, forward. Anyway, that's one of the takeaways from my trip there. That I then began to watch this woman to see how she interacted with other people to see if she had that rare talent of being able to be rude to someone without seeming like it's intentionally rude. You don't tell someone they're confused because she told the story and it was actually, it was different, but it did involve a hatch and it involves like somebody being crushed in the hatch. Well, that's a ghost tour. I mean, people, you know, anyway, people are funny. You ever met someone that is just they're a little quirky and they kind of, they're, they have that skill of addressing you and seeming condescending. Maybe that's the word. One more on each side. And we're going to do this. We're going to hop into our kayak and we're going to roll. We'll continue with the towel for a little bit. And we'll do an action for Anne here. She has her brain and body bar. That got her moving. She, well, I better start moving. I better start, sit here and look at Patrick. Three... Two and one, and bring it up to the chest. We're gonna press forward, pull back, and up overhead and down and forward, then back and up, down forward, back up, down forward and back, and down one more forward and back and up. And back down and back into our kayak. And I want to do one little movement uh, sequence for our posture and for our spine. But before we do, we'll do one more sequence of the forward, back, up, and down. Three, two, keep it going, people. One, clock in the minutes, chest. Forward, back, and up and down. And what I mean by that is 
in these classes, I like to, I hope that we get at least accumulation of 30 minutes or more of exercise at about a level of seven on a scale of one to 10. Up, down, forward, back. Up, down, last one, forward, back, up, down, and down. We're going to bring the towel across the side so it is parallel to that right leg. And we're going to sweep it forward, up, and across. So now it is up overhead here. And as we sweep, I want you to lean forward from the hip, draw it out and up, back down. Two more, making sure you're maximizing the rotation of the chest. Okay, let's sweep it up and leave it here and then draw it down here so it's next to the left leg and sweep forward and up. Two more, one, up and back, and two, up and back, and now alternate forward and down, and forward, forward. And I will grant you that this is a rather odd movement pattern. And even if you're not getting it perfectly, you're probably still getting the most important components of it, which is transverse planes of movement one more up and across and down and up and across and down and here we go tall in the chair big breath in and exhale going to the no money chin level pulse up and down. Big breath in, then we're going to lower our hands to the tops of our knees upon exhale. And I want to take a moment and do our check-in like we did at the beginning. See how the body's feeling. Oh, we didn't get to the ball. Well, we'll do that on Friday. Take a sip. <coughs> Big recovery breath in through the nose. Regulate the exhale nice and slow. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, big breath in and exhale. Take ooch and ouch, open them up. Roger, thank you for the joke. Class, thank you for your hard work. Man, those sit to stands are getting so polished and clean. Let me know how we did. Let's see here. Ask all to unmute. Go. Okay. Let me pop over here. Thanks for watching on YouTube. Okay. Thanks for the thumbs up. All right. 